Hello Excelers and welcome. Thanks for joining me today for another How to Excel at Excel.com Excel tip video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button below to get notified when there's a new Excel tip available here on my YouTube channel. And if you want to sign up for the How to Excel at Excel newsletter, which gives you three free Excel tips every month direct to your inbox. There's a link below in the description box there. Uh, and when you sign up, you'll get my free ebook, which has got my top 80 Excel tips. Okay, let's get started on today's Excel. Hi, Excelers. Welcome back to my next video. Today, I'm going to show you how to remove duplicate data records in Excel. And to do that, we're going to use Power Query. So I've got a sample data set here and I do have some duplicate records. So this is the data we're going to use today. So the first step is to convert this data range to an Excel data table. So select your data, hit Control and T, and your Create Table dialog box will open. I want to confirm that my table has headers, which is Name and Department in row two, and hit OK. We've now got an Excel data table. So the second step is to import this into Power Query. So if we go to the data tab and this is the area we're looking at, which is the get and transform data. So previously Power Query was known as get and transform if you're using earlier versions than Excel 2016. Um, now called Power Query, previously called get and transform. So one, we want to get our data from a table or range and we're using a table today. So the next thing, next screen that comes up is your Power Query editor. And this is where we're going to transform our data and remove the duplicates. So we want to use the home tab and we want to remove duplicates. So you can see that Excel's added a step in here, which has removed duplicates. And we can see that they've been removed from our data set. The last stage is to load that back into Excel so we can hit close and load. And you have a few options here. I want to load that back into an Excel table, but I want that on a new worksheet. So Excel loads that cleansed data set back into your Excel sheet. So here's the original with our duplicate records and our cleansed data table. So that's how easy it is to remove duplicate data records with Power Query in Excel. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified when I upload a new Excel video. And I'll see you next time for another How to Excel at Excel.com video.